All right, thank you for checking out our YouTube video. This is part of a series, The Affinity Designer, The Complete Guide to Affinity Designer. And regardless of your program, whether you want to go to Seven Season Studios, whether you're on Skillshare or whether on Udemy, we've given you a link below. If you like what you see and you want to take the full mammothly popular course, you can go ahead and do it at a special discount here for our Seven Season family. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, folks, and welcome back to Affinity Designer. Now, this is the 1.7 update. This feature was not available prior to 1.7. However, this is one of the best features for vector artists in 1.7, and this is the ability to sculpt. So what I have here is a very simple Japanese water sketch. This sketch is available in your downloads if you wanted to follow along, but it is not essential. So in order to find this feature, we're gonna come up to the pencil tool, and you'll notice I've got my stabilizer on, I'm going to drop the length down to about probably 24, 25. And now this is the key. This is the sculpt button right here. Now what sculpt does, if I was to take this image and I was to trace it out, let's say I run around this area here and now I'm coming up over here and I'm going to scallop this edge. Now I'm going to get to this point here. Okay, and then I raise my stylus. All right, this is a line, and you'll see that this creates a curve. Now, watch this. If I was to drag this point now and grab the red point and continue on, let's say, and go down into here, watch what happens a separate curve is created, right? Now, why is that? Let's go to our pencil tool and our sculpt function wasn't on. So now let's go ahead and hit sculpt, delete out that little bit of a line. And now with the sculpt function on, watch this, same thing. Make sure your line is selected. Come over to the node tool. Make sure the sculpt function is on. And now with the pencil tool selected, drag this line. You'll see what happened now. Notice that there is only one curve. The sculpt function allows you to pick up where you left off. So I could pick up from this red area again here. And I could then draw. Notice this is still the same curve. Now let's go ahead and delete this curve. Now watch this, sculpt function on. We're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw a curve. I know I'm not paying real close attention to my sketch. This isn't about how to draw water, this is about how to sculpt. All right, now watch this. If I start over here and I swing back and I try to connect the dots, even with the sculpt function on, you see it creates two curves. It creates this shape and it creates this shape. And why? Because I drew in the wrong direction. So let's go Control Z, make sure your pencil tool is selected, make sure Sculpt is on, make sure you grab the red dot, and now let's go ahead and sculpt away. And if we did this right, we still only have one curve. This is huge when you're doing really weird shapes. As an example, if I grab the pencil tool here and I just decide to draw this style of shape, right? If I want to come back, adjust, and then come back off this curve, the sculpt tool now allows me to do that. So as vector artist, the sculpt tool is one of those things I love, and I hope you love it too. All right, so if you like this video and you want to see more on things like the sculpt tool, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit like, and if you want to see more, just shoot me a comment as far as what you want to see. We want to make content that drives you forward. All right, we'll see you in the next one.